Good morning children. Now we know what is a quadrilateral. So let us learn about the elements of quadrilateral specifically the sides and the vertices. As we saw this is a quadrilateral which is made of four sides. So it has four vertices. Vertex A, Vertex B, Vertex C and Vertex D. Also this quadrilateral which is made of four line segments line segment AB, line segment BC which is this one, line segment CD and the line segment DA. Hence it is called the quadrilateral ABCD. See ABCD are the four vertices of this quadrilateral. Next we also saw a quadrilateral has four angles. Angle A angle B, angle C and angle D. Now you must be hearing terms as opposite sides, adjacent sides etc. What are these? Let us see. This is quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now if we see this is side A, D and this is side A, B. Now the side AB and the side AD have a common end point which is it? It is vertex A. Such line segments which have a common end point are called adjacent sides. Hence side AB and side AD are called adjacent sides. Same way we can say side BC and side CD. They have a common end point which is C or the vertex C. So we can say side BC and side CD meeting at the end point C are the adjacent sides. Same way we can say side AB and side BC with the common end point B are the adjacent sides. What about AD and CD? Here side AD and side DC have a common end point D. Hence these two sides are also adjacent sides. Now if we talk about side DC and side AB what do you see? They do not have a common end point. Such sides like here side AB and side DC are called opposite sides as they do not have any common end point. Same way we can say side AD and side BC do not have a common end point hence they are opposite sides. Now let us say in this quadrilateral ABCD this is end point or the vertex C and this is the vertex A. Are A and C the end points of the same side? No, they are not the end points of the same side. Such vertices are called opposite vertices. So we can say A and C are the opposite vertices. This is C and this is A and these are the opposite vertices. Now if we join the opposite vertices like here vertex A and vertex C by a line segment we get a diagonal. So line segment AC is a diagonal. Same way it joins vertex C to vertex A which are the opposite vertices. Same way here if we see 
B and D are the opposite vertices and if we join them what do we get? We get a diagonal. So diagonal BD is a line segment which joins the opposite vertices here to be specific vertex B and vertex D. So remember children what did we learn about quadrilateral? That in a quadrilateral the adjacent sides have a common endpoint. For example line segment PQ and line segment PS as here the common endpoint is P. So this way there are four pairs of adjacent sides. Now coming to the opposite sides. The opposite sides do not have a common endpoint. For example line segment PQ and the line segment SR. This way we can say there are two pairs of opposite sides. One is this pair and the other pair would be line segment PS and line segment QR. Next we saw in this quadrilateral PQRS the vertex P and R are the opposite vertices as they do not belong to the same side. Now if we join the opposite vertices that is P and R with the line segment we get a diagonal so here line segment PR is a diagonal so we can say the quadrilateral PQRS has two diagonals the first one is line segment PR and the second one is the line segment SQ. So that was all about quadrilaterals. Bye bye children.